Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easily you can apply for an evaluation online at www.globelanguage.com. So once you're on our homepage here, you're going to scroll down. You'll see these four tabs at the bottom. Click on the first one that says evaluation and click on apply now. And it'll bring you to the order form here. The first page is all your general information. Um, just make sure you fill in each box completely. Make sure the phone number is up to date and the email is one that you regularly check. These are the two main ways that we communicate with our customers over any issues regarding your order. And the only box you do not need to fill out is social security number. This is only required if you are applying for a city, state, or federal job. So uh, DCAS is an example right here. Otherwise, it's just personal preference if you'd like to include it or not. So um, once you've popped everything in, just make sure you check it over and everything looks correct. Um, this is the country where your original educational documents were issued. This is the country for that goes with the address, so United States. So I'm going to choose Germany for this. Um, I was just looking it up. Apparently, Pomeranians uh, originated in Germany and in Poland. So that's Daisy is a Pomeranian puppy. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to say that she's applying for a DCAS job. So I'm going to put a social security number in here. And everything looks good. So click next. <clears throat> and now you have to decide which type of evaluation service you need. So there are two types. Um, document by document is a general evaluation, so this will only show the degree equivalency. This one is $100. Uh, course by course is more a detailed evaluation report, so this will show the degree equivalency and then also a breakdown of the transcript. So subjects, grades, credits, overall GPA, all of that. And that one is $200. <coughs> so I'm going to select that one. Um, I'm going to say that Daisy has a bachelor degree and a master's degree, so in that case, she would need to select consolidation of credits. Um, this is when multiple transcripts are submitted, so there's an additional $50 fee. And every option that you select on here, you'll see at the bottom, there's an order summary. So as you go along, it'll add everything up so you can see um, you know, what the total is. So for processing time, standard processing time is 10 business days, which is two weeks. Um, if you need it faster, you can pay for one of the rush services here, and it's additional to the evaluation price. So I'm going to do five business days, so it'll be done in one week instead of two. So and then it adds it in down here. I'm going to click next. Also, if you look over here, there's a checklist. So you don't click anything over here, but it'll just show you, like, you know, after you complete each page, what step you're on. So we're about halfway through. So this is for um, translation services. So um, a lot of times people confuse translations and evaluations as the same thing, but they're two separate services. So certified translations are required in order to do an evaluation if your original educational documents are not already in English. If they are, then you can click the first option here and just get by this step. If you do need a translation, you can get a quote from us here. You click this link. We can tell you exactly what the price will be and you just have to fill in a separate application for that. Um, for this video, I'm going to say that I already got a quote and I already, you know, followed the payment instructions and now I'm applying for evaluation. So I'm going to click this option here. Click on next. And then this is going to ask you how you'd like to submit your educational documents to us. So um, you can either bring them to, the, to us in person, to the office. That's the best option. Uh, if you are going to do this, though, you don't really need to do the application online. You can just apply in person. Um, otherwise, you can mail the documents to us or have them mailed directly from your institution. And for this video, I'm just going to click that I already submitted them and they were approved and click on next. All right, so now for copies and duplicates. So <clears throat> this is how many, um, you know, how many of the evaluation report that you need. So the evaluation includes one set. If you need any additional, they're $20 per copy. So for this video, I'm going to select two sets. I'm going to, uh, Daisy's going to send one to DCAS and um, pick one up in the office. 
So, so for DCAS, you'll put the agency name in this box here. And if you look right here, it says if you're sending your documents to DCAS or MTA, please provide exam number and title. So we don't need the address we send to both of these agencies daily. You just need to provide whatever exam number you're applying for and the exam title. If you're applying for multiple, you can list them all here, um, but we really just need at least one in order to send it to them. Um, sealed envelope, this is for postcard from, from either one from DCAS or MTA. So select that option, it's $5. And then for delivery service, we can only send by priority mail at the minimum. Um, you're welcome to do express if you'd like, but we need to have tracking information when we send to an agency or institution so that we can guarantee that it, it gets delivered um, to the right address and on time. So, all right. Um, so this is for duplicate copy one. So as you can see over here too, it added it into my order. So an additional $20 and then also for the mailing fee and the sealed envelope. So that's the total so far. So like I said, for the second one, I want it for myself and I'm going to come pick it up in the office. So I'm just going to put my information right here. Sorry, I meant Daisy's information. So um, just her name there and then the address and for the delivery service, there is an option for pickup, so you just click that. Um, this is the best option, if possible, to always come get your report in person. Um, that way, there's no additional time. I should also mention that the processing times do not include the mailing time, so if you are mailing um, your report anywhere after, it is going to be an additional however long you know business days for the mailing, depending on the service that you select. So everything looks good. I'm going to click on Submit. And then it brings you to an order summary here. So this is the breakdown of everything that you've selected throughout the application. Make sure everything, you know, looks correct. It's everything that you want on here. And then it shows you what the total price is going to be. So then just um, read through the terms of acceptance down here and then electronically sign. And once you've done that, just make sure to click on that you understand you know everything that you just read the terms of acceptance and you accept them and then you can go to checkout so if you have an account with us and you know your login you're more than welcome to sign in here uh, if you're a new customer definitely you can create an account but I would just do this later and because uh, it, it might make you redo the application so um, you can just proceed directly to checkout, finish everything first, and then come back and create an account later. So I'm going to click on that. And then this shows your personal info here. Read through it, make sure everything's spelled correctly, date of birth is, is right, um, address, everything. This is the billing information. So, And then click on continue. So see, it'll show the billing address here. Um, and then you'll just fill in your card information. If you have any extra comments about your order, you can definitely put them here. Um, but yeah, that's it. And then you'll hit, after you put in your payment information, you'll hit continue and it'll say um, that we've received your order and you will get an email confirming this. You should get a five digit order number. Um, make sure that you see this, this uh, electronic receipt from us to make sure that your payment was processed and it went through. And then if we have any questions or anything regarding your order, we always contact you by email, um, most importantly, and then by phone. So, um, but yeah, that's it. So now that's how you apply for an evaluation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, uh, if you did, <laughs> please hit the like and subscribe button down below and we will be back with a new one. Thanks.